Welcome into lesson 13. Today we're talking about the grand staff. The grand staff combines our treble and bass clef uh, and puts them together in kind of a clear way to see the different octaves. Um, and if you're a piano player, you'll deal with this all the time. If you're not playing piano or have never seen piano music, um, this might look a little foreign, uh, but we're going to go over that today. So let's take a look at our grand staff. We'll need a treble clef and a bass clef, and we're just going to tie those together. So now this is one line, and if we have multiple lines together, they're going to be grouped like so. If we remember our notes coming down from our treble clef, F, E, and D, and our notes coming up from our bass clef, G, A, B. Now, the device that we can use to extend our range up or below the staff, remember those are ledger lines, but when we have a grand staff, they're connected. So our line, our first ledger line below the treble clef is going to be a C, but our first ledger line above the bass clef is also a C. So that's the point where they connect and that C, the ledger line below the treble clef or the ledger line above the bass clef, that's middle C on a piano. So those ledger lines, that's going to be the same note. And if it was written in context with the treble clef, that C, or more closely related to the bass clef, those are all the same note. They share that ledger line together. An octave. So what is an octave? We've said that our letter names are seven letter names, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Once we repeat the seventh note, they repeat an octave higher or an octave lower depending on which way we're going. So let's take a look to see how that gets represented in our grand staff. All right, almost running out of room here. So we're going to look at the letter G and look at the different octaves that gets represented just within the grand staff. So we have our first G. Count up. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So that's, we have one octave here, our second G. Now we can count up again. G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and remember we're shifting up here. So here's a third octave. So I didn't write those in, but there is another octave full of G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G to hitting from our second up to our third octave. Count up, G, A, B, C, I'll write these in, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Almost running out of room, and we have our fourth octave up there. So an octave, the distance between the same letter up or down. 